Discovering Triangle Congruence in the GMAT and GRE. Hello, English language learners and aspiring test takers. Today, we're diving into a fascinating geometry topic essential for your GMAT and GRE preparation, Triangle Congruence. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the concept, but also be able to identify and apply it in various test scenarios. Let's jump right in. When we talk about triangle congruence, we are referring to two triangles that are exactly the same in shape and size. This means that their corresponding sides are equal in length, and their corresponding angles are equal in measure. In simpler terms, if you can place one triangle on top of the other and they match perfectly, they are congruent. In both the GMAT and GRE, understanding triangle congruence can be the key to unlocking the correct answers in many geometry questions. Not only does it help you identify relationships between different shapes, but it can also save you time. Instead of doing lengthy calculations, recognizing congruent triangles can offer a shortcut to the solution. There are several rules or postulates that allow us to determine if two triangles are congruent without necessarily checking every side and angle. 1. SSS, side side side, congruence. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. 2. SAS, side angle side, congruence. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. 3. ASA, angle side angle, congruence. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. 4. AAS, angle angle side, congruence. If two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and a non-included side of another triangle, they are congruent. Remember. Recognizing these patterns can drastically reduce the time you spend on certain test questions. A frequent error students make is confusing the AAS and ASA postulates. Always ensure you're identifying the included side or angle correctly. Another common mistake is assuming triangles are congruent without enough information. It's always better to double check than to make an error. There you have it, a quick guide to triangle congruence for the GMAT and GRE. The world of triangles might seem vast, but with practice and understanding, you're sure to master it. Always remember to spot the congruence patterns, and you'll be well on your way to solving those tricky geometry problems. Until next time, happy studying and best of luck in your test preparations.